I'm Amalia Leandro with Small Cap Power, and today we are at the 2013 Toronto Resource Investment Conference, where we will be bringing you interviews with all the top speakers. Be sure to subscribe to our free newsletter for daily investment ideas, exclusive research, expert articles, and interviews with Small Cap CEOs. This is Amalia Leandro for Small Cap Power, and today we are with Keith Schaefer. What is your outlook for the energy sector this year? Well, for the rest of this year, I think oil prices are probably going to come down a little bit. And so a lot of these stocks that have decent runs are, are a little vulnerable. And certainly for the, the gas stocks, I, I don't see much hope in gas prices for this year. So the gas stocks are going to continue to, to really, I think, be under stress financially. So a couple of places to be looking at this year, I think, would be uh, the service companies, the frackers, the drillers. Uh, particularly in, in Western Canada, where most of the oil and gas is concentrated in Canada, the, the LNG build out there is going to be, uh, all the companies preparing for that should be a good bet over the coming year. What are your preferred locations apparently to find the next big energy plant? Well, I, I think really it's very close to home. Like I, I think in Western Canada, with this LNG build out, that is the place in the next three or four years that should see a lot of growth. As long as a couple of these big proposals make it through, which we should find out here in the next year or two, that's going to set us up for five to ten years of big growth all through Western Canada. It should provide a lot of capital gains for investors. Africa has been labeled as the next new frontier to find conventional oil. Do you agree? Will there be more companies like Africa Oil that will enable super normal returns for early stage investors? Yes and no. You know, Africa Oil was a very special case. It had a, a stellar management team with a finance group behind it, second to none, the London family. Uh, these discoveries are in areas with no infrastructure, no pipelines, no wells, no drills. So it takes a long time to get these things going. And it takes a long time just to make that initial discovery. And very few small companies can go that distance. So I'd say the likelihood that they're another Africa oil are pretty slim. What are your views on the tight oil plays and the shale plays? Are they going to provide the next wave of investment stocks? Well, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think the shale plays have kind of run their course right now. Uh, they've had a lot of money put into them over the last three or four years. And what the market has shown is that very, very few can make it work. They're really big company plays. The wells don't pay out fast enough for the small guys to recycle that money back down into the ground for a new well. The bigger companies have enough scale, they can wait for those wells to pay out, but not the juniors. So I, I don't see the next big wave going into the shale plays. In fact, I would suggest a lot of the money is going to start coming out of the shale plays. Oil prices are currently at about 100, 110 per barrel range based on certain more concerns. Do you anticipate that this may increase in the future? I don't see the price of oil getting much higher here. We basically need all out war for the price of oil to go any higher, which we really don't want. But what happens is, is that when oil gets over this price, there's only about six producers in the world, the big guys, the Shell, the Exxon, the Chevron. They, their share prices go higher, but the share prices of everybody else goes lower as the world prices in recession once oil gets above 110 bucks a barrel. But, but I, I do see this being the peak for oil. You talk a lot right now about the LNG build out in Western Canada. What are the next couple steps you see happening? Well, over the last few months, what's the big thing that's happened is a lot of new players have come into the market. So there was four players last year that really said, okay, we're going to try and do this. And they were big companies, uh, like Shell and Apache and Chevron. Uh, then about a month ago, we saw things like Exxon and BG throw their hat in the ring. So really the, the next step is actually going to be the, probably the smallest proposal. It's run by a company called Golar and, and the highs of the First Nation. So they've got uh, a really neat new small scale LNG, liquid natural gas technology that they're going to be debuting really from anywhere in the world, right here in Western Canada. So uh, I believe that the final, what they call the final investment decision, the FID, is scheduled to happen mid to late October. So that would be a big, big piece of news where they say, yes, we are going to go ahead with this. And it's a pretty small scale project, so they should be able to have it in production inside two years. So they have a great shot at being the very first LNG export off the North America coast, Canada or US, or anybody else. Do you have some favorite names to share with our viewers? 
one of the names that I really like right now is a, a company called Gola. So they're that's the most GLNG on the NASDAQ. And they're the guys that I think are going to make the most money off exporting LNG from Canada to Mexico. Um, they trade around 37, 38 dollars. And they've got a bunch of new LNG ships coming in to their fleet in the next year and a half that really should see their dividend, I would think, double. So plus the LNG on the West Coast, that would be a good name. Uh, the other name I like right now is a company called Canyon Services. Uh, they're a fracking company in Canada, and they're an all-Canadian company. They don't do business anywhere else. And I think for any of the large companies who are still coming in to get a piece of this LNG one, uh, Canyon's a great takeover Canyon because uh, very well run company, they've got lots of business in Canada and they will be the prime takeover target for anyone like uh, Baker Hughes or Northern Down in the States or Schwartz in Europe to come in and increase their business here. Well, thank you very much for your time. You can get more expert interviews on the experts page at smallcappower.com. And don't forget to sign up to receive the weekly Ubika Gold 50 report featuring our list of the top 20 gold prospects. Smallcappower.com, investment ideas and research.